Nuclear science and technology is a fascinating field that has revolutionized our lives. It delves in the application of property behavior and the interaction of atomic nuclei and subatomic particles. This scientific discipline has given rise to a wide array of applications that have profoundly impacted diverse sectors of our society, ranging from energy production, whereby nuclear power plants utilize nuclear reactions to produce electricity. Other fields include medicine, agriculture, and research. Although nuclear science and technology offers numerous benefits, it is associated with various challenges. Therefore, nuclear science and technology should be accompanied by a thorough comprehension of safety and security implications. Nuclear safety aims at protecting the society and the environment from harmful effects of nuclear materials and radioactive materials. Whereas, nuclear security aims at preventing the malicious trafficking and the malicious use of these nuclear materials. Adhering to the nuclear safety and security measures is vital to safeguarding the well-being of individuals, the environment and maintaining global peace. Therefore, it is essential to establish and enforce robust international standards, implement security measures, provide training for personnel, and strengthening legal frameworks. Unfortunately, in Africa, the infrastructure for these measures is not well established. Therefore, there is need for African states putting resources to the same. Legal instruments such as the Pendilaba Treaty play a vital role in shaping the legal framework in Africa. The Pendilaba Treaty, which was adopted in 1996 for the, by the Organization of African Unity, OAU, displays an agreement that establishes the African continent as a nuclear-free zone. Article 8 of the treaty articulates peaceful nuclear activities, while Article 9 shining light on verification of peaceful uses. Article 10 of the treaty shines light on physical protection of nuclear materials and facilities hence upholding nuclear safety and security. In conclusion, it is vital that African states and the global world pulls their resources together in ensuring use and promotion of nuclear and radioactive materials that support a green economy without harming the environment, the society, and the people. Without also forgetting use of legal instruments and international standards such as the International Atomic and Energy Agency that promote safe use of nuclear and radioactive technology.